matrix uh, which we have left in the last class. So the matrix was uh, we were learning and how we are creating the matrix for that. So let's take that particular code into the R studio. Now, now for creating the matrix, we have some parameter in the matrix function. So the first parameter is the element that we are taking. So we are taking the element in the form of vectors. So with the help of uh, the vector, we are taking the, uh, the element. Otherwise you can take the element uh, uh, alone. Then we'll take how many number of rows and how many number of column will be there with the help of R row and uh, R, uh, uh, sorry, uh, N row and N column in that way. So three rows and three column we want. Then uh, by default, the matrix in column wise order. So uh, we have to have uh, another parameter called by row that could be true or false. So by row could be true or by row could be false means we are making this particular matrix based on the row or based on the column. So that is there. One more uh, parameter is there, which will tell you the dimension name. Okay. So that also we are going to uh, cover. Right. So thank you very much. Let me do that. Okay, so we were talking about matrix. So let's say if we want to create the matrix, we'll use the matrix function, right? This is uh, the matrix function. Inside the matrix function, we have different parameters. So one parameter is to put the elements on it in the matrix. Second parameter is how many number of row we are taking. Next parameter is how many number of column we are taking. Next parameter is whether we are uh, creating the matrix by row or by column. So if we are making by row as true means the by row it will be created. If we'll make it by row as false, then it will create by column. Okay. So let it make it uh, true first and then we'll make it uh, uh, false so that you can understand both. One more parameter is there along with that, which is uh, um, which is uh, telling you the dimension name that how we can have another uh, dimension. So for that, there is uh, another parameter called DIM names. So one more parameter is there. This is called DIM names. So dimension name we can give that uh, we, we are making the row or we are making the column, all those things. So those uh, parameter are uh, what we can say is some additional parameters are there. Let's make this particular matrix. So this is a matrix where we have the element one to nine and we want three cross three matrix and we'll print it, okay? So let's run this. Now if we'll run this, you will get this particular output here, which is shown. Uh, okay, let me increase the size of it again, size of the font. I want to increase the size of the font. Okay. Now it is uh, bigger and you can see very easily. So as you can see, one matrix is created and that particular matrix, the name of the matrix is A and uh, the, uh, the data type here we have taken as numeric data type. And it is uh, having the values from one to nine. Okay. 
Okay. Now, if you'll see this, uh, you will find out the row wise uh, creation means we'll take the value one, two, three, and we'll put in one row. Then we'll take the value four, five, six, and we'll put into another row. Then we'll take the value seven, eight, nine, and we'll put into another row. Right. Now, if we'll make this particular as false, then how the matrix will look like. So the matrix will look like this. Now here, this one, two, three, we have taken, this one, two, three, we have taken, right? And we are putting in one column. So one, two, three, in one column. Then four, five, six, another column. Then seven, eight, nine, another column, right? So it is based on your uh, requirement, how you want to create the, the uh, matrix. Now we have taken the element on this particular, we can take it uh, like that also. So we'll take the data from one to nine, that also uh, we can we can do instead of uh, writing the element. If different elements are there, then it is okay to write it. If it is a sequential element, then it is better to put in that particular way. So one to nine in that way, we have uh, written the uh, value. Now, uh, let us draw uh, another matrix here. Let's say we are creating a matrix A, okay? Uh, sorry, X. And this particular matrix that we are creating, we are creating with the vector and the value we are taking as, let's say, 5 to 16. And here we take, let's say, number of row, which is equal to let's say four, okay? And we don't want to give the number of column. Um, by row, we make it true. By row, we'll make it true. Now, if we'll print X, then how it will be? Now, this is how it look like. We want the element from 15 to six, 16, right? Five, sorry, five to 16. So five to 16 elements are there. Now we have told to the uh, interpreter, like I want four rows. So it has created four rows, okay? But how many column it, it will arrange by itself. I have taken, I have told to create the four rows. So once it will take the data and it will create the four row, definitely three column will be created. And we tell, told the interpreter that you create the, uh, the matrix by row. So five, six, seven in one row, then seven, nine, eight, nine, ten 10 in one row, 11, 12, 13 in one row in that way. Now what we'll do is we'll use uh, another uh, parameter, which is called dimension name, okay? So for that, let's create uh, a vector with row name and with column name. So we have to give the row and the column name, okay? So let's create a row name vector. Here we are putting the, the value like uh, I want as R1, then R2, then R3. So here we have how many? Four columns. So I'll, I'll put another row, which is, R4, right? So here the row will get some name. Likewise, the column will also get some name. So I'll create the column name also. Let's say this is column one, column two, and column three. Now here we have three columns only, so I'll not take the fourth one. Now after that, let's create the the matrix. So we'll create the matrix. Now, this particular matrix will be created with uh, some elements and some rows. So let's say I'll take the same element here. Uh, then number of rows I want is four. Uh, by row is true and another another parameter which is 
dimension name, right? This dimension name. So in the dimension name, I'll make a list. In this, I'll put two vector. This is row name and another is column name, right? Now after that, I'm going to print it. Let's run this. Okay, what is? Uh, let me run all of this. Now, now it is as you can see uh, the C1, C2, and C3 are coming like this C1, C2, and C3. And R1, R2, and R4 are coming like this R1, R2, R3, and R4. So I hope you understood like how we can give the, the name to it, name to a particular uh, row, or sorry, particular uh, matrix. There are uh, another way how we can give the name. This is one way, okay? Uh, so we have a separate function for that. So what are those functions? So one function is called row names function. And in this row name function, we are going to put the matrix name, let's say X. And in this matrix name, we will give the, the vector in the form of, let's say, uh, instead of a column, let's say C1, C2, C3, I am putting A, B, C, okay? So that we can make the differences between two. So let's say, this C1, C2, C3, I have A, B, and C. Sorry, uh, row name it is talking about now. So we'll make it A, B, C, and D. Yeah. So this will be row name, A, B, C, and D. Now we'll put the column name is another function. Here also we'll put the parameter as X because I want to give the column name to the matrix X. And inside the vector, I'll put the name. Let's say A, B, C, D we have here. E, F, G will give here. Okay, so E, F, G will come as a column, C1, C2, C3. A, B, C, D will come as a row, R1, R2, R3, and R4, okay? For X, for X. So we'll again print the value of X. Now, if we'll print all those things again. So first, the matrix will be of simple matrix without the name of column and row. After giving the name and column and row, we'll, uh, we'll print another, uh, uh, the same matrix again. So you see how it will be done. So previously, this is the matrix which will look like, right? By, by executing these two commands and after adding the rows and the column, it will look like this. So the row name has been added A, B, C, D and the column name has been added E, F, G. So if you want the matrix will look like this, then you can do that. Now the matrix data, how we can take the data from a particular matrix, okay? So, if you see, a particular matrix, this is a matrix, I want to fetch some data. Let's say I want to fetch this 12 here. So 12 belongs to the third row and second column, right? So what I'll do is I'll just print matrix X, third row and second column. Okay. So uh, I think you understood this, how we can fetch the data here. Uh, what else we can do is we can manipulate the data, which is, which is already, it has, let's say 
I want to make this 11, I want to make this 11 to 21. How can I do? So I'll go at that particular location. This is third row and first column, third row and first column. Then I'll put the data there as 21. And I'll again print X. So you'll understand that. See, so previously, previously there was the value 11. After doing this manipulation, the value has become 21. Right. So you can add some values inside the matrix here. That is, that is very much popular uh, uh, way of uh, doing this uh, manipulation or not. One more thing you can do is you can take some condition also. So let's say uh, I want like the value of X would be if it is greater than uh, greater than 15, then all the value will be treated as zero. So this is my condition. Let's see whether it is working or not. What it will do is it will take the value of X and X, all the X, if it is greater than five means 16 is there and 21, these two values should be zero. So let's see, is working? Yes, it is working. So as you can see the output, this was the previous matrix. When I have done X is greater than 15 means 16 and 21, these two condition is satisfied. And instead of that, it is zero here. Instead of that, it is zero. So the matrix manipulation you can do by this, all these methods. Next, if you want to add some row or you want to add some, um, or some column that also you can do very easily with two different methods. We have R bind method. This R bind method will take the uh, matrix and in that it will add the row. So R, R means row. So let's say I'm putting some value here, uh, 20, 21 and 22. So I have to add row, right? So how many value are there in one row? Three. So three value will be taken here. This is how I can add a row. So let's run this. See, is it created? Twenty, twenty-one, and 22 it has been okay so i have to once i will do that i have to put that into x then only it will reflect into x yeah now it is reflecting into x so what is happening is with the r bind i have taken the matrix x and i have added a row here the same thing we can do with the column also So one row has been added 20, 21, and 22. I can do the same thing with the column also with the C bind. Let's put a different value here. Let's put the value like uh, 30, 31, 32. And because in one row, uh, sorry, in one column, we have four elements. So we have to put four element here. So let's run this. Yeah, as you can see, one row has been, uh, one uh, column has been added here. So here, this is the previous version of X and this is a new version of X, right? Here we have five rows and three column. Here we have four rows and five columns, right? So all these are different, uh, uh, different methods uh, that we use into the matrix creation. Also, we can create uh, uh, the matrix with uh, one element also, okay? So, let us see that quickly. So, 
So let's create an element. Let's say five. Number of row I want is three, and number of column I want is three. So I have in the matrix function I have three parameter. One parameter is data, another parameter is row, and another next parameter is column. And if I'll not put the by row, it will take it as a false by default. Okay, because we have only one element here. So let's print the value of x. See. It is going to create uh, the value it is taking as five data, three column and three uh, rows there. I can also create a diagonal uh, matrix. Okay. So in the diagonal matrix, what will happen is uh, in the diagonal only we have the element. Uh, every uh, Every else part will be like zero okay so i can create a diagonal like d i a g is the function which will create the diagonal it will also take the data from the vector let's say i am putting the value of the diagonal let's say five four three this is my value and i want only three column and three rows on it and let's print this. See, it is creating a diagonal matrix. So as you can see here, uh, it is creating a diagonal matrix where we have the value of five, four, and three, and we have three rows and three columns. Every other element will be zero. So this is how we can create the uh, diagonal matrix. If you want, you can create the identical matrix from that also. How we, what is the identical matrix? In the diagonal, we have what element? One. In the diagonal, we have one. Everything will be zero. So instead of putting four, uh, five, uh, four, three, I have put it only one element. This one, this is created. Right? So this is. Uh, uh, related to your matrix. We have different functions in the matrix. Uh, if you want, uh, you can have a different uh, functions here. Let me create a matrix quickly. Okay. Okay, so a matrix will be created. Let's say same short of element I am taking. I'm taking here uh, four row and three column and by row it will be let's say true and we'll just print the value of x there okay so this is my matrix that has been created with four row and uh, four uh, uh, row and three column uh, then i can do many things here uh, what I can do is I can find out the dimension of A. So I'll just print the dimension of this particular matrix. Let's see what output it is giving. It is giving me the dimension is four row and three columns. Okay. Four row and three columns. This is the dimension that is giving me. Clear this. Next function is to find out uh, the number of rows into the matrix. So there is a function called and row. And row is also the element that it will take, right? And and row is the function also. So here we have how many rows? Four rows. The same thing we can do with the with the column. Uh, sorry, n uh, column. It will give me how many col uh, columns are there. 
process n. So three columns are there. It is printing three column. We can uh, also find out how many number of elements are there. Okay. So for that, we'll use a method called length function call length. This will give me what is the, how many elements are there. So you see how many elements are there because we have a four cross three. So 12 elements are there. So it is printing me like you have 12 elements. The same thing you can uh, get with uh, another short of uh, function with the combination of dim dimension. Here you can get how many elements should be there. It is also giving me 12. So prod one, uh, how many production could be possible with that particular dimension? So it is saying that the product of uh, that particular dimension it is saying 12. So how many product is, how many um, elements are possible with the dimension three cross four? So it is all, all, it is obvious that the product will be three cross four means it is 12. So yeah, that's uh, uh, related to the matrix. A small thing I also want to share here, like if we, this is the matrix, then uh, if you want to find out only the row, a particular row, let's say you want to find out the third row and all the, all the elements should be there, means 11, 12, 13, you want to print. So this is how you can do that. For 11, 12, 13 will be printed here. If you want only that particular. If you want only the column to be printed, let's see whether it is working or not. I want like second column will be printed. So second column is 6, 9, 12, and 15. Let's see 6, 9, 12, and 15, right? So in that way, you can print a particular element or you can print like this. So in that way, the matrix, uh, uh, you can uh, do um, any things related to it. 